you arrive in this relationship yeah, world? I'm walking on eggshells. Yeah. So I don't feel safe. No serious arguments, please. Now becomes individual attack. Yeah. And I must win. They're tired. I'm tired. Hey Daiki fam. Hey Daiki fam. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. We're back. With another video. Oh, I really miss doing that. I really <laughs> miss doing that. It's so good. We're back with another video. Mm. And in this season, we're talking about the 2024 reset. That is the theme of the month because we're really thinking about how we reset our lives, aren't Definitely, we? Definitely. Because we've had a child. He's mm -hmm. wiped us out. Mm -hmm. You know, we've, we've been at it in our relationship. Yep. Just backwards and forwards. As usual. But in 2024, we are coming to go from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Yep. We're about to just spread our wings. And in order to do that, we need to have, I don't know, some inspiration. Yeah. So Anna sent me something via Instagram. She yeah. DM'd me and said, look, this person is talking about the things that you need to do in 2024 in regards to your relationship. What do you think? <laughs> and there were really good points. There's a lady called Phoenix Black mm. who we'd never ever heard of. Thank God for the discovery page on mm. Instagram and um, bringing the right things to our attention. But yeah, there are eight things that we should do more of in our relationship. And we want to talk about them, expand on them, tell you how we're thinking about implementing them within our relationship. And yeah, having a great 2024, isn't it, babe? That's what we're praying Come for. Come on, no serious arguments, please. Yeah, just not like, no boxing glove. I just oh, want babe, peace. Babe, can we just have one year? I just, where we just, no, we've had just years, been, we've had years. Oh, it hasn't, years it, it, hasn't, it hasn't been rocky the whole time. I feel like it has. There's just been moments where you have just been... <laughs> guys, let us also know what you are trying to implement in 2024. Yeah. What are your reflection points? Yeah. Like, let's all share down in the comments below. So, the first thing that we're going to do more of in 2024 for our relationship is become deliberate about being the safest space for mm. your partner. A place where they can feel heard, welcome, cherished, listened to and respected. Amen. Amen to that because if we're being honest, mm. for the last two years, <laughs> this household has not been safe. Yes. First of all, let's define what safe place actually means. <laughs> a safe place is an atmosphere where you feel like you can be yourself unapologetically yeah. and still be loved and accepted within your household. If you are walking on eggshells in your household, <laughs> it is not a safe place. Wow. When you're tired, you express yourself in a certain way. <laughs> Me or? <laughs> Both of us. Okay. So because we've been shorting one another, yeah. I feel like I can never do anything right in our household. Mm. I'm trying my best to yeah. pattern things up, yeah. but I'm walking on eggshells. Yeah. So I don't feel safe. It has been hard these last years. And you haven't years. felt That's safe either. Yeah. Because I've been obviously short-tempered as well. Yeah. And be yeah. like, yeah. We're learning to love the new versions of ourselves mm. who are parents and we've had a son for two years and we're trying to juggle that responsibility alongside full-time work, alongside everything else that we're doing. And if we're being honest, we haven't been each other's safest Safest space. Safe we yeah. haven't been running home to each other nope. necessarily. No. Nope. I might just send that one email extra at work. <laughs> I might know. walk slowly towards the front door. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, what you're entering is not as yeah. because, joyful yeah. as the environment that you And in all in. seriousness, look, yeah. the world is a mad place. When you open your door and you go out, you just see madness. Mm. And we want to be each other's safe place because we want to be in a position where we can equip each other with courage, mm. encouragement, so that we can go out and go and conquer and then come back to the safe place. And I think before we had our son, we were very intentional mm. about being a safe space. We were skipping home to each other. But no, now, no, no, no. we maybe are not doing that as much. So mm. in 2024, we're going to change it yeah. up and actually think through, think about the other person first. Yeah. Like we become very, we became very selfish yeah. and thought about ourselves and what yeah. we needed. But actually, if we think about the other, what does Gabe need when he comes home? He needs a positive wife. He needs a wife who can that encourage him nice. when he's had a hard day. Yeah. He needs a, you know, all of these things which mm. I am implementing in 2024. Yeah. Now we're always thinking about the lens through being parents. Mm. If we feel safe in our household, Jerry will also feels safe mm. in this household. Mm. So it's not just about us anymore. Like, you know, if, if Jerry has to get the wrath of Anna's attitude, mm. That boy will suffer. So we need to make sure that the household is safe yeah. for all of us. Another thing we're going to do more of in our relationship in 2024 is be more intentional about creating relationship glimmers 
rather than just waiting for them to happen. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Only dead fish go with the flow. Yeah, yeah. It's been our mantra for so long, mm. but then we became the dead fish. Go with the flow of whatever the feeling was or the mood was and just riding it and thinking that our you relationship's know, gonna sort you itself You know what up. phrase that you used to say to me that I used to really hate? Go on. <laughs> Anna used to say to me, I'm bored. <laughs> and then she'll look at me. She's basically putting on all the expectation on me yeah. to come and entertain her like I'm a clown. <laughs> Like, not bored it, in life maybe bored in the relationship it's like it's boring you're bored so there's things that you want to do yeah why don't you do the things that you want to do and send me an invitation because when you think of the list of things that you have <laughs> to do in this life being intentional about your relationship and creating fun is not one of the things you want to add to that mm. list in my mind you think oh all of this stuff should just naturally happen. If I really, if I'm really into this guy, we should be able to just laugh together anyway. We should be able to just be excited about each other all the time. But we have but, operational things that we have to yeah, do in the household. Mm -hmm. And in reality, we get lost in those things because yeah. we need to deliver. Because if we don't deliver in those things, we don't eat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I get that, I get that. And what I've realized is that, you know, I need to create those moments. Mm. Instead of me putting all the expectation on games, like I'm bored, sort it out. It's like, how do I cultivate what I want? And actually, the cultivation doesn't really take the romance away from it because the other week I was like, look, it's Friday night, we're going bowling. Me, you, Jerry, we're going out. We're going ah, ah. <laughs> that was our definition of going out. And we went bowling actually. We yes, time. I had to put in the diary. Yes, I had to mm. book it. Yes, I had to do the thinking. But we had a great time. Was great. We came back, we were really happy. We actually had a good few days of mm. just riding on that wave. Yeah. So yes, it takes intentionality yeah. at first, but then it flows into just yeah. the ordinary. We took control of our joy yeah. rather than waiting for it to just happen. Exactly, and the common thing I always say to Anna is like, Anna, you need to fix your attitude. When I don't really consider, I can be somewhat quite critical in our marriage as well. Mm. I'm quite negative sometimes, I can always spot things that are not happening the way I want it to happen, mm. then I'm expecting Anna to always be of good cheer, mm. which is not always possible. So I need to be really intentional and very generous with my words so that I can lift my wife up and, you know, so she can have a good mood. So rather than saying to her, oh, what's going on with your mood? Can you fix your mood? I can just compliment her. I can say something nice. Hopefully that should help, you know, lift her up. Anna needs to learn how to take ownership of the things that she wants. Yep. I need to be mindful of how I am contributing, contributing to certain behaviours behaviors from or, your wife. From your wife. From yes. my wife. Amen. <laughs> Another thing that we're going to do more of in 2024 is pay more attention to our significant other. Yes, life gets busy mm. and sometimes we just fall into the routine of eating, working, sleeping and unknowingly neglecting the person who should matter the most. Don't neglect your partner just because you believe they'd understand. Keep them top of your list of priorities and treat them accordingly. Fantastic. Oh this is this is a very great point. Yeah. That we really definitely is. need to prioritize each other. Mm. Like you hear people say, oh, we've grown apart. We're no longer on the same page. What they're just admitting is that we've allowed time to go past without really growing together, checking in on one another, showing an interest in that person. And now we're on different pages. Yeah. And we don't want that to be us. We really need to be intentional with showing an interest. Mm. And because life is really busy and we just need to take like, what, 10, 15 minutes to ask the question, how are you? Yeah. What's going on in your day? And tell me more. For Anna, it's about an hour or two <laughs> because this girl, she chats. She <laughs> we chats. used to be able to, I don't know, it was like a daily check-in we used to have before we had our son. That like we were always chatting. I'd yeah. always know where we, we were didn't, at. We didn't turn on the TV. Yeah, we just sit just there like for hours. Talking. Mate, now when I get home, we put Jerry to bed and I'm going to bed too. We're tired. I'm tired. So we could actually go a week easily and be like, oh, I didn't know you did that on Tuesday. Oh, I didn't know that happened. And imagine that over a longer period of time. Mm. Or the fact that seven years into marriage, I'm a different version of Anna. Mm. He's not seen this version of Anna before. And he might not like it, but he's going to have to learn to love it. And the same with Gabe. He's like, oh, who is this guy? This mm. is not the guy that I married. And it's so easy for us to then say, you know what? I don't like you. You don't like me. You know, and our lives go in, those, in yeah. completely different directions, but we refuse to let that happen. So what does that mean? We have to, again, be intentional yeah. about getting to know each other, yeah, relearning each other. And Esther Perel, oh, yeah. someone who is fantastic and someone who I love in this relationship space, yeah. she says, I've been married 37 times, 
but to the same person mm. because we do have to go through a journey of learning the person yeah. and growing together relearning relearning again, again, and, again, and, again and again and again and again and it feels like a new relationship sometimes yeah. but you just have to go on that journey and discover them love them so that's what we're doing more of in 2024 because we will not let distance or changes separate mm. us because we're doing this to the end aren't we babe to death do us part yeah. <laughs> another thing we're going to do more of in 2024 is be gentle and soft with each other mm -hmm. it's not every day hard girl hard guy open your heart and let romance finish you say those sweet words you wish to say let them know how much they mean to you at every point in time be so affectionate and tender with physical contact their hearts warm every time you're near after <laughs> over a decade of being together yeah. it seems like we still struggle with a bit of vulnerability in our household yeah i think that by being vulnerable in our household it's been abused mm. in the sense of we have you know used those vulnerable moments that have been shared to attack one another yeah. we've been childish argumentative like aggressive defensive defensive it's just been mad yeah like, it's so hard when you not, arrive in this relationship yeah. world but we're still going to continue to press on mm. in this journey and yes yeah i struggle with vulnerability yeah yes i know most of your points there were calling out me no, i do need to I be mean. more <laughs> look at how high pictures boys went i do need to be more vulnerable in the relationship i do need to not let anger and defensiveness be my first response i do need to ask for help and say, Gabe, it's really hard. Yeah. Can you help me? And not take out my frustrations on you. Yeah, you need to I've ask got... for help. Yeah, yeah. When you need something, mm -hmm. it's not the fact that I'm not doing something. Mm -hmm. You just need some assistance. It's not because I'm lacking. Mm -hmm. You just need some assistance. Yeah. It's not because I'm inadequate. Yeah. It's just because you need help. Yeah. It's not because I'm stupid. Yeah. You just need help. Yeah, and I just need to remind myself of the man that I love and mm -hmm. all the amazing traits that he does have. And I actually you know give out those words and be intentional about what i say mm. we just need to cultivate gentleness and softness yes. within our marriage yes. again and it? sometimes because i'm a, i'm used to um, anna's strong-willed nature mm. i sometimes forget that she's actually a very gentle and soft person mm. because sometimes i could retaliate with the same level of aggression and then sometimes i might take it over mm. and say a few hurtful things which is not nice mm. so i need to even when anna has um frustrated moments and gives it you know gives me a, a good way i can still meet her in a gentle space that is my responsibility mm. i don't have to retaliate parenting has made Mr. Deku, very short-tempered. No, it's, also... not, it's not even parenting. <laughs> I just want to understand when I'll ever arrive sometimes. I feel like my patience has yeah, that's been it, your abused. Patience. Oh. Oh. I feel like my patience has been abused. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to shake it up a bit. I'm just not going to have patience today. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, because that's really biblical, isn't it? I know, but, <laughs> but that, what? that hasn't worked but either. What? So I just need to go back to trying to be more patient yeah. because doing the opposite just makes it worse. It's adding fuel to the fire. So we're practicing soft life soft in our life. marriage. Yeah. I just love you so much. Oh, look at your beautiful hand. <laughs> so soft and gentle. Come here. Let respect overflow. Yes. Respect for the things they love, mm -hmm. for the person, and for the bond you both share. Whatever That's would bring respect. disrespect to your partner, try to stay away from it. Value their trust, secure your loyalty yeah. to them, and remain committed and faithful all the time. Okay. I wasn't finished. Okay. You're so ready. Go on. The recurring thing in our relationship is that that one thing is true. Anna and I have the same values, the 100 same thing. Like our we're, values we're, on are... the, we're on the same page in that regard. Yeah. But one thing that we differ on is the approach to go and achieve our values. We're, we're polar we opposites. Are... When we are airing our position on how we will want to navigate life in a given moment, it yeah. could be any of us, either yeah. Anna or I, would react in a way that is disrespectful by mm -hmm. dismissing what is being said before mm -hmm. it's even been said yeah talking over one another just like random insult will fly out of <laughs> <laughs> so we just need to be respectful to each other yeah. in regards to our opinions on how we deal with certain life events yeah because games actually <laughs> thinks 
He has the best solutions in life. Is this that guy of mine. I know it's your strength to lead and to, you know, come up with solutions, but it's not the best. Mm -hmm. If it was, then you'd be navigating this life on your own and successfully. Yeah. But you're with me, mm -hmm. and I have a completely different approach, mm -hmm. just as good of an approach. Yeah. <laughs> we just have to navigate the detail. But yeah, in that process, we mm -hmm. actually have to remain respectful. Mm -hmm. That is the challenge that we're going to overcome. This is probably the number one thing that we need to work on in our marriage. Mm -hmm. Respecting each other's difference of opinion and approach. And approach. And sometimes I think for us, we just need to... Um, have more space to be able to have a conversation. Mm. So I think what happens is that we're having a, a, a conversation about something, but we don't have that much time to have mm. the conversation. So we're trying to get to the end quickly. Mm. But what we need to learn how to say is, that's a great point, babes. Can we revisit it <laughs> at another point? I will schedule 65 hours for <laughs> us to talk it through. And hopefully, God willing, we will get to a conclusion. That's what we need to learn how to do. Just park it yeah. for another time. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. in that time, the Lord will do some work <laughs> in, in somebody's case. heart. Take this heart of stone with flesh. In 2024, we are finding and making reasons to laugh together. Mm. It's very important to have as many beautiful moments of stomach tightening, rib hurting laughter as possible in our relationship. You know what? Yeah, the last two years have not been funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do laugh a lot in our marriage. We do. Fair, but but in the last, last year, years, we've laughed less. Less. We haven't reached the heights that we had a few e years ex ago. Exactly. Yeah. Like, we want to laugh more. We want to yeah. roll over on the floor and ha ha ha, yeah. stitches and all that kind it's of stuff. It's because life gets serious the older you get. Like, yeah. there's more responsibilities and then you find yourself talking more about those. We just can't take ourselves too seriously. Are you talking that to yourself, yeah? I'm talking to both of us. Okay. We just can't take life too seriously. Uh -huh. We need to like loosen up. Uh -huh. <laughs> we just need to just go with the flow uh -huh. sometimes. And part of that laughter is actually recording content, doing the things that we love to do together, mm -hmm. um, doing more of that, not just the operational things. Actually trusting God more as well and not yeah, just, you know, trying to one. plan things to the T mm -hmm. and then getting worked up in our thoughts because don't have the finances, we don't have the ability, we don't have, but you know who does God and he's gonna make a way and just trust in him more in the process, which will enable us to free ourselves up to actually laugh because yeah. he's gonna do it, he's done it before, he'll do it again. Banter. Banter, we want banter. So that means if I also say a comment about something, mm -hmm. just don't get offended by it either. Okay, okay. <laughs> you just chuck that in, didn't you? It's just banter. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in 2024, we are also never going to stop investing in the growth and health of our relationship. We can sign up for couples therapy. We can attend webinars and masterclasses to learn together. We are not going to be afraid to address things that are not working out in order to figure out how to best make things right. Yeah. This so one finally is one that we actually do. We're still trying. Okay. Like, we can't say we've arrived. Like, we're gonna Just still, one. There's more growth. Just one have. that we've arrived out of eight. I think what we're very good at, we are individuals who like to grow. Mm. So as individuals, we're trying to grow. Yeah. But what we've come to a realization, I don't know if you agree, individual growth alone in a relationship is not going to sustain the relationship. It's good that one person is having maturity, mm. but we need to grow together. We need to set space mm. for us to be able to review, watch, discuss, mm. and then say, oh, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? What do you think about this? Mm. And then we can grow together yeah which goes back to the point of maybe growing apart yeah you could be growing individually in yeah. different directions because the thing is you can be growing in your stupidity because you haven't allowed the other person to check you yeah and we used to back in the day when we had time watch marriage content together yeah. we'd Francis sit down Chan oh will my be on. goodness we'd have the people that we love on the tv date nights we'll have people even come to our household have dinner parties yeah, yeah. have conversations yeah yeah and then we're there in it together mm -hmm. we'd reflect afterwards we'd pause in between the content talk about like what do we need to do in our relationship mm -hmm. and then now it's just dry like yeah, you'd be lucky we ain't got time in the we've evenings. got no time we're so, sleeping what we have to Trying do, to. <laughs> what we have to do is cultivate those moments yeah. and create those moments. So something Gabe's has implemented is this marriage Mondays, where on a Monday night we both have to finish what we're doing by a certain time, put Jerry to bed, and then maybe do something marriage related, like watch something that will help us. Yeah. We also did get a counselor during our first year of parenting. It was needed. For a, per for a period of time to actually just understand each other better. So we are intentional, but we don't want to slip off. Because we're in this marriage together yeah. and we want to be better for each other. And the best person to give me feedback 
on how to actually navigate myself in this marriage for the betterment of Anna is Anna. So I need to seek her feedback. I need to say, oh, how am I doing as a husband? You know, give me a rating, you know? Yeah, you know, we like, used to do this. Like, thing. give me an appraisal. And it's being humble enough to hear the thing mm. and to try and implement it. And the last thing that we're doing in 2024 for our marriage is to keep having those difficult conversations. They won't go away and nothing has been resolved. You know your relationship has been hanging on a balance, making things right, have those conversations. It'll be hard, but if you can get through it, things would significantly be better. See, this point, we do well. Yeah, that's true, actually. And we this probably is... do it too well. We don't shy away from difficult conversations. Like, if I see something in Anna yeah, that... Yeah, we know. You know, you'll say it. I'll say it. Yeah. And likewise, if Anna sees anything yeah. in me, she will say it. Yeah. But what we need to do is to be a little bit more strategic mm -hmm. in how we address it. We need to be able to have difficult conversations without adding fuel to the fire. Yeah. Because what ends up happening is we, we address something mm -hmm. and it's no longer about the thing that's addressed. It now becomes an individual attack yeah. and I must win. That's the mentality that we go into and yeah. then we go bickering. But we need to be strategic. We need to be able to separate the situation from each other, mm -hmm. talk about the situation and talk about the situation alone. The point about the respect piece come links into this point mm. about having difficult conversations. We are so good at having difficult conversations, but can we respect each other in the process? Mm. And can we come to a conclusion well? So we definitely need to have difficult conversations better. We will in 2024, won't we, babe? How good were those points though? Phoenix Black did a fantastic job in summarizing them because it took us what? half an hour but we hope our perspectives have really helped you and we hope that you and your relationship can have a good 2024. What are some of the other things that people are doing mm -hmm. to better themselves in their relationship? How are you growing? How are you making sure that we can end 2024 together? Because look, tomorrow is not promised. Mm -hmm. Every year we see online this person's not together, that person. You know, choose what side you're gonna be on and you have to be intentional about it. Yep. It's not gonna happen by chance. Grow together, enjoy the journey, yep. laugh together. Gabe's and Anna, over and out. See you soon, peace out. Don't forget to join our mailing list. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the thing. Don't Do forget to share with your grandma, your auntie, your uncle, your dad, your mom. Peace out. Bye, guys. thank you fam, see ya.